there are physical laws in our living world. As the sun sets, the moon rises, and the stars are twinkling in the sky. The earth and the planets keep rotating. Water flows to the streams, then to the river, and finally to the sea. As the cold winter passes, spring comes and the flowers are in full bloom. Just as we see these physical laws in nature, there are also spiritual laws between God, the creator of heaven and earth, and human beings. God loves you and offers a wonderful plan for your life. However, why is it that most people are not experiencing the abundant life? Man is sinful and separated from God. Therefore, he cannot know and experience God's love and plan for his life. Man was created to have fellowship with God. But because of his stubborn self-will, he chose to go his own way and fellowship with God was broken. This self-will characterized by an attitude of active rebellion or passive indifference is evidence of what the Bible calls sin. This sin makes a great gap which separates us from God. Man is continually trying to reach God and the abundant life through his own efforts such as a good life, philosophy, or religion. However, the only way to bridge this gap is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is God's only provision for man's sin. God has bridged the gap which separates us from him by sending his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross in our place to pay the penalty for our sins. And then Jesus rose from the dead. This is the way to show us how big God's love is for us. However, it is not enough just to know this. We must individually receive Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord. Then we can know and experience God's love and plan for our lives. We receive Christ by personal invitation. Jesus is knocking on the door of our heart. As we hear his voice and open the door, Christ will come into our lives and we can start having fellowship with him. These two circles represent two kinds of lives. Left side represent self-directed life. Self is on the throne and Christ is outside the life. Interests are directed by self, so often resulting in discord and frustration. Right side represent Christ-directed life. Christ is in the life and on the throne. Self is yielding to Christ, resulting in harmony with God's plan. Which circle best represents your life? Which circle would you like to have represent your life? You can receive Christ right now by faith through prayer. Prayer is talking with God. God knows your heart and is not so concerned with your words as he is with the attitude of your heart. The following is a suggested prayer of faith.
Lord Jesus, I need you. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I open the door of my life and receive you as my Savior and Lord. Thank you for forgiving my sins and giving me eternal life. Take control of the throne of my life. Make me the kind of person you want me to be. Does this prayer express the desire of your heart? If it does, I invite you to pray this prayer right now. If you have prayed this prayer with a sincere heart, Jesus is now in your heart and your life is new. Your sin has been forgiven. You have eternal life and become a children of God. Fellowship in a good church is very important to grow in fellowship with God. Several logs burn together brightly, but separate one and its fire goes out. So it is important for you to have relationships with other Christians. Call or visit a nearby church where Christ is honored and his word is preached. Being with other Christians in the church, you'll be able to learn about Jesus Christ and live the abundant life that God wants us to live.